So this will be part 19 of our complete application and in the previous class we were able to display a list of countries as JSON. So if I go to countries you can see that we have a list of countries available but now we want to display this list of countries in a HTML page. Okay and this will be very easy for us. So the first thing we want to do now is let's prepare the country list table to display a table first and then we later display the actual data in this table. So from our template, if you go to tables and go to basic table, you see a number of table templates we can use. And the template you want to use is the advanced table. That is this one right here because it's looking fancy, okay? So let's display this table first on our countries page and then second, we now add actual data into it, okay? So what I'm going to do now, let me go back to my application and stop it from running. Again, if you are joining me for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any challenges, please let me know in the comment box below. And also, if this is your first time, you might have to go back to start right from the beginning unless you know exactly what you are doing. So what we have now is we have a series of uh, pages here. We have uh, this basic table uh, here, let me see, basic table contains the table I showed you, this table is contained here. So all the pages here that we are going to be using that contains assets we can use, let's just put them in a folder called assets so that our application seems uh, uh, will be a bit organized. So I'm going to create a folder here, I'm going to uh, call it, uh, create a directory and call it assets. And I'm going to simply put everything inside this assets folder, except our layout page, sorry, except our layout page and the index page. Those are the two that's going to be outside the assets. Every other thing will go right into the assets folder. In that way, our application is a bit more organized. So let's wait for a second. All right, so you can see that everything is a bit cleaned up. So let me kind of uh, close up everything. Uh, I'm gonna close every other thing except this page. So this page here contains the, the table template we will like to use. So what I'm gonna do now, let me uh, kind of collapse this and let's look for the actual template we want to use. So that actual template we want to use should be um, I don't know exactly where it is, but let me just check. All right, so the section we want to use is this advanced table. So this advanced table here, you can see here, that is, that is exactly what we have here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy this row. So I'm going to copy this entire row like this. I'm going to kind of collapse. I'm going to copy this entire row that contains the advanced table and I'm going to place it inside our country list table. I want to display the country list. So the country list is available, should be available in the, inside the parameters um, module. So what I'm going to do now is to create uh, a, new, a, new, uh, a new page inside the parameters module. It's going to display the country list. So I'm going to say new HTML file. I'm going to call it country list. So I'm using camel case. And this is what we have for now. It's not using a template page. So to make it use a template page, simply go to templates. Uh, I think you can say in Google type template. I can't remember exactly, but I, it should be this one, how to use template page in Spring Boot. Okay, so right here in this page, simply scroll down and you'll see what you're what you're going to use in your content page. So the first thing you want to do is copy this and simply use it in the content page, which is this page. Replace the HTML tag with this one. And secondly, remove the header. And finally, in the body section, we want to copy this part here and put it right there in the body section here. So everything we now want to write is going to be inside this content uh, fragment. So I'm going to go back to the template, the, the template page that contains the table template we want to use and copy it 
and copy it, copy and paste it right here in our country list page. Okay, that is fine. And now I want to serve up this country list. So I'm going to go to the uh, controller for the country. So I'm going to go to parameters and go to controllers, go to country controller because that's what we have. So I have to make a little bit of change right here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take out the response body because we don't want to return JSON this time. We want to return a HTML template. So I'm going to change this return statement here. I'm going to change it to meanwhile we can just keep this uh, I'm going to say public. Sorry, I'm going to say um, public list of countries. So we still have the list of countries here, but we are not returning it just yet. Second, public list of countries, countries is it also, but we are not. Okay. Yeah, so I'm now is going to have a return type of string. And what do we return? We are going to now return the HTML template. So I'm going to return, I'm going to return country list. Actually, this HTML page is what we want to return. This new HTML page we just created is exactly what we want to return. And we have a number of errors. So our public string, so we don't need this country list here. And this should be fine. Okay. So I'm going to just increase the font a little bit so you understand exactly what's happening out here. Actually, this list of countries here, I can actually cut it out and it's still fine. But let me just leave it because we are going to use it later because we're going to pass this data, this list of countries across to this HTML page for rendering. Okay. But for now, that's not what we want to do. For now, we just want to display list of country, uh, list the HTML page showing this fancy table that we created. All right, so I'm going to, um, let's, let me just cross check and make sure everything is okay. So we have countries, we return country list, the template. However, the country list is inside the parameters folder. So I'm going to just add it parameters slash countries list. That's the location of the countries list. I'm going to now uh, save everything and let's try to run this application. And we are going to visit slash countries and see if it actually re uh, returns the page we created. So our application starts and now I'm going to go to our application here. It should be this one. And if I go to slash countries now, we have the, the page we created, right? So it's coming from slash countries. But now this is not the data we want, okay? So in the nice part, we will now kind of uh, display the actual list of countries coming from the database in this page. But before then, let me just add a link to actually display our countries list. So let me go to, let's in this case, now we only modifying the template page which contains the navigation. So I'm going to uh, the template folder, I'm going to my uh, layout page, actually going to slash countries. So the URL, uh, the URL mapping is slash countries, okay? So it's exactly the same URL mapping we have here. That's what we're going to use. So sorry about that mix up. And now I'm going to run and let's see what we have. Parameters home and country list and we have it. So everything is working perfectly well at this point. So in the next part now we are going to display the actual country data is what we are going to be displaying right here in this page. I would like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and also leave me a comment if you have any challenges whatsoever following this class. I remain kind to the tech pro and I'm always there for you.